Hello guys, welcome back to a great amazing video. We're gonna in today's video we're gonna be playing back go back and playing Roblox. <coughs> so let's get just go get started. And now you guys finally get to see me in the camera. So um okay. Now what Roblox Okay, let's try let's try playing this game. What is content? What is this content deleted game? Okay. Ooh woo. What? What? And where? Okay. Welcome to the Lighthouse Simulator. What the? Do. Oh. Can they have cookie? No, you, no, you cannot have a cookie. Okay. Guys, that was just weird. Are you giving me a hug? No. Will you play with me? No. Would you go away and sell your house? No. Would you like to play dress up? No. Would you like to play if Among you Us? Is connected to future you. So if you want me to predict your future, I just want you to tell no! me what happens. Asking me real so questions. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. So we so I am still wondering what is in the house. What even is the house? Mysterious house. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Look at the way he is sitting. Yes, very distinguished. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Mm. Is that somebody else's house? No, it's not. Oh. Never go, never go to strangers' houses. Okay. Okay, I would not go into that attic. Guys, let's play a difference. What, guys, what was that? Tell me, what was that? Okay, okay.
The cool looking theme is really in here. to go like this. Okay, guys, well, I have to go pee, so... Hey, guys, I'll be back in a minute, so bye! Sin always fascinates us before this fascinates us. Sin always fascinates us. It's exciting before it assassinates us. If you wait long enough, if, you, if you're honest with yourself, here's what you'll discover. Your new life starts to become exactly like your old life. When you go, no, 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 I'm going to be different in the future. No, 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 time doesn't change who you are. Time reveals who you are. And if you make the same decisions, if you're unwilling to forgive, if you're unwilling to stop comparing, and you just restart and unplug and nothing changes, here's what will happen to every one of us. We will just produce a more jaded, skeptical, distrusting future you. Time doesn't change you. I'm back. Let's go get back into the bed. Cool. That was kind of weird. Future you will be an exaggerated version. Okay, what is play? But anyway, so here's these words of mine. Hello, Milo. Do you want to be my friend? Oh, wait, I forgot the infected kids. Wait, I'm an idiot. The infected kids are Why am I such an idiot that I can't get fresh? You're living in the wrong direction. You're in the end where you never intended to be. Isn't it true, like, when you're driving, you get lost? You're not really sure the exact moment you became lost. When you're driving, you were lost. Okay, guys, I need to go get some high facts. I, I think I'm lost. When we, when we are lost, we don't know how to get unlost. And some of you are lost Okay, right guys. And only a fool would think, oh, all I need to do is unplug and disengage and drink some more and smoke some more and bake some more and just re-engage with something else and your problems will just go away. Your Heavenly Father who, who created you. Oh, God, it's who infection. Loves you, who died in your place for you. Looked at you and said, You're not a toaster. You're not a toaster. You're definitely not a computer. Okay, you, you were created on purpose with a purpose. I made you in the image of, of God. You are gloriously complex and you're precious. And this, I'm sorry, there's no quick fix. But I'm inviting you to change your direction. He doesn't promise a quick fix, 
He points the way forward. He points the way out. He invites us to live in a different direction. He says it this way. Therefore, therefore, everyone who, who people have never sinned, therefore the people who just grew up in church, therefore the people who should have listened to me the first time, therefore everyone, therefore anyone, who hears these words of okay, mine, guys, God is okay, okay, guys. Okay, guys. My skin looks like this. You have it to work with? You guessed it. A kitchen knife. Okay, guys, I know how to take the ammo. Jesus says, trust me. Jesus says, follow me. I will lead you. I will guide you. I will restore you. You're my pain. Here's the banana. Banana man. I need you. Come back here. Traps. Guys, we're gonna play Among Us. There's a study done by the Center of Bible Engagement. Scientific evidence discovered that proves proves that reading the Bible has a powerful impact on the human brain. The research analyzed 40,000 Americans from 8 to 80, and they found out how reading Scripture impacts our behavior. They discovered something unexpected. They didn't. They weren't looking for this, but they discovered that when we read the back Bible, it actually okay. affects our neural pathways. It changes the neural pathways in our, our brain. It affects our cognitive thinking and our behavior. So scientists 
observe that when you read, dopamine releases and it begins to change the neural pathway. And so that means the gut work is moving and active. I also forgot to tell you guys um, that it's actually 2024 right now. So, Happy New Year. And, you, and if you guys want to see what I gave my mom for Christmas, well, I can show you. Well, it's it's a little clock dot. Uh, it's an echo dot. And go to Alexa. What time is it? Good afternoon, TJ. The time is noon. Yeah, yeah, so it looks like that. Gave up for Christmas last year. Well, let's go back into the game. Reading the Bible sets us on a different scientifically proven path. God's word was designed to direct us and to protect us. Jesus promises it. This is literally going to be. Um, hey guys, um, my mom is not at an appointment. Matthew is not here. But she's working for church today because I have church on Sunday, right? Scientists proves reading the Bible one day a week has almost zero effect. And I don't want to tell you this, but that means that if you come here every week for the rest of your life and you sit in the booth and you let me read the Bible to you, it will have little to no effect on you. Oh, uh, I was the killer and everybody else died. Meaning that you could come here on Sunday and have me read you the Bible Good and attend work. a group later on and have your group leader read you the Bible. It has almost zero to little effect on you. Well, you can read the Bible three days a week and it does have some identifiable... Uh, my pants are big. But the magic number is four. Four days a week. Hi! This is the magic number. When we read the Bible four days a Did week, you guys more, think it about actually delivers on all of those statistics I just read you. A Without big... That, or oh, no. It changes the way that we believe. It changes what we do. No. I do not drool. Yes, you did. I just not. I did not. And, and nobody can hear you because of this. Because of the. All right. Oh. I guess I'm the first one here. Which leads to another decision. Which leads to another Oh, that is a creepy, like a creep. What you're doing right now will be connected to your future. Future you is an exaggerated version of the current you. Yes, we see my piggy avatar. Because I'm a fan of We've been lied to our whole lives. There is no magic bullet. There is no secret formula. You can't get rich quick. You can't lose 30 pounds in a week. You can buy all the face product cream you want, but you can't rub 20 years off of your face. You just can't. Like, I wish it was easy. Oh, and no, it's King Mario. I don't even want to hear this. I definitely don't want to hear this. But what God's growing in you, what God's growing in me, is going to take some time. <laughs> and the choice is yours. I'm not telling you what to do. I just want you to be able to choose. Change. Stay in the same or change. 
And then there's people that, that you care about, people who love you, they can look at your life, and they can exact track to predict your future. <coughs> there's people see the direction that you're headed, and it's breaking their heart, and you, you won't listen to them because you feel like you can't. But here's the heartbreaking thing. Like Nobody driving. thinks of me. When you get lost, and you lose 30 so minutes, me. and you go to your loved one's house, and you me. have this good last time, and it's like, I'm sorry, I'm like, oh, I just got lost. You know, in life, mm. you and I, we can recover Mommy? from 30 moments. No offense. But if we're living our life no in the more wrong puppets. direction, you can miss all of your 20s. And how you can the miss puppets all of your have this. You can drive right past your first marriage. You can miss all of your kids growing up. You can miss the opportunity to connect with your grandkids. I'm sorry, you can miss so much. Okay, guys, let's go. You will miss out on what's most important, but but you don't have to. You don't have to. Your heavenly Father, he he loves you so much. He spent the life of his son for you, in place of you, to lead you, to guide you, to restore you, to extend this invitation to you. Would you just follow me? Would you just follow me? I just want to lead you to this enduring life. Follow me, and I will build for you an enduring life. Because following Jesus will eventually, maybe not initially, maybe not immediately, but following Jesus will eventually make your life better, and following Jesus will eventually make you better at life. He offered a better life. Okay, guys. Eternal life. Yeah. Jesus followers face is the nail scar and resurrected feet of Jesus. That's our rock. That's our foundation. That's our proof that Jesus actually has power in this life and the next. Even if you never decide to actually be a follower of Jesus, just you know this. You're going to end up somewhere. There's a destination for you somewhere in your marriage, with your kids, financially. There, there's a destination. Everybody you know ends up somewhere. You guys can I just want you to end up there on purpose. Yeah, that was one of my old children. Father, just thank you so much that you sent your son in our place to guide us, to restore us, to direct us. Father, I just pray that in this moment you would give us the wisdom to know what is right. Father, would you give us the courage to, to do what is right this week? Okay, guys. In Jesus' name. Videos. Amen. Videos if you guys can see. I don't know uh, what's going on in your life, but I do know that there's some that maybe you feel like they're Playlist. like this. If that's you, out the door to the left is our next steps room. Uh, if you're watching online, please text next to 317-576-2288. Okay, We'd love to wait. follow up with you there. And I want you to make plans right now to come back next week as we continue through this series. Remember here at Victory, we don't yeah, just go to church. It's better than that. We go be the church everywhere we go. Have a great week. Yep, guys, that was vanilla. And as you guys didn't know, because it was thirsty, money pee. <coughs> this was Adopt Me Summer
Oh my god, it's Xbox time. Hey, can you um, pause your video for a little bit? No. We're not doing an hour. I don't have any cards on. I'm I told you to wait hour. until I'm done. Hold on, babe. Darren, I can't get off the couch. We'll find where it hurts. <coughs> you hear me? What? You need to stay here. I don't have any cards on. I gotta get up. Okay. Hey guys, let me hide. Yeah, let me hide this photo. not going to be in the video. That's not the point. I asked you to wait. Ready? Well, why did I glow? I'm glowing. Watch this, guys. Hey, Google. Change the lamp color to green. Yeah. <laughs> hey Google, change the lamp color to purple. Yeah. <coughs> hey Google, change the lamp color to light blue. Yeah. You guys like it? Pretty. Guys, I'm gonna have to end the video, but I'll make another one today. Because I'm going to have to turn on my Xbox. So, bye. I'm going to have to make another video. I'm going to make a part two today right now. So, bye.